Hello friends, welcome to Engage Tech. Friends, here in this video, we are we are going to discuss an example of a dialogue between two friends. This is the example of how to express interest in English, how to express likes and dislikes in English. This is the example of informal communication also. That is. the two friends prachi and roshni express their interest in informal manner okay then let's see the example here there are two friends prachi and roshni they meet and they discuss their interest let's see prachi says hi roshni how are you Roshni says, "Fine, thanks." And you, friends, this is the example of informal communication. And therefore, the sentences used by Roshni are incomplete. She just uses important words in the sentence, using the complete sentence. Here she says, "Fine." It means I am fine. thanks it means thank you and you means how are you and how are you in this way friends this is the example of informal communication prachi says i am too i am too means i am fine too roshni oh nice which subject are you going to offer as a special subject in sybba just look at the tone used by me while uttering this sentence that is the tone used by me is rising tone because it is a question roshni asks oh nice which subject are you going to offer as a special subject in sybba roshni of course english prachi says so of course english roshni asks why english and not any another means why are you offering english as a special subject and not any another subject this also is the example of informal communication prachi answers because i like english most moreover it has good market value too yeah i like english too it is a global language also the statement made by roshni prachi says it is language of opportunities that is they are expressing their interest in english language they are showing their likes about english language by using these sentences roshni says therefore i am also going to offer it as a special subject i like english literature too i am quite passionate about it prachi says surely english literature is the richest literature in the world so i also love it roshni reading shelley keats jb shaw chaucer and frost is my passion prachi says it is my passion too okay let's reap the harvest by offering english as a special subject friends here in this sentence this phrase to reap the harvest is used by the speaker to reap the harvest means to enjoy benefit to have advantage here this idiom is used by prachi in her statement if you want to speak english at high level that is fluent english if you want to impress the listeners then you must use such kinds of idiomatic expressions such expressions are called idiomatic expressions that is the expression in which phrases and idioms are used you can use them to impress the people when you use such kinds of proper words at proper places in sentence it is also called usage and you should have knowledge of this usage 
and you can show your knowledge of this usage through such sentences then prachi complete such sentence i need to go now bye roshnes answers see you later bye in this so friends this is the example of showing interest in english in informal way i hope that you might have understood this video thank you for watching this video if you like the video please click the like icon and share it with your friends to improve their spoken english thank you